Well, I started metal sculpting about 10 years ago. So I started off at Holyoke Community College and after I got my GPA up, I actually applied to Hampshire College to a program called the Baldwin Scholarships. As time went on, I started to realize that working with kids and working with metal were my true passion. And my mentor at the school, you know, one day was like, what's the matter with you? You know, you got the kids, you got the metal. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> why didn't I think of that? It's amazing how we focus on putting people in college these days rather than support. I want to be able to give that gift to as many people as I can. So it inspires me to be a part of that culture. And the things I create, I know they're immortal. The influx of culture that came to Holyoke is here as well. So Sullivan Steel, Sullivan Scrap, uh, West Side Finish, which is a powder coating company. You know, there's manufacturers and fabricators around here that make it easy for me to do what I need to do. Now, when my, my first shop was in East Hampton, Mass., I found myself coming to Holyoke every other day because I had to get some kind of steel or find some kind of scrap or get something powder coated. So over time, it was like, why not Holyoke? And then I found out, you know, a couple of my buddies were here. And this was oh, six, seven years ago now. And they're like, yeah, man, come out and check it out. So I moved into his shop. And, you know, what I find to be interesting is you're always going to hear certain stigmas about a place, you know, certain reputations that it has. Bad things happen everywhere. When I'm rolling, you know, hopefully I'll have like a good 10, 15 kids coming through, but that's one year. Imagine what's gonna happen if I'm here for a decade. That means hundreds of kids could have gone, come through my spot and I help them go in a direction and that's happening right here in the heart of Holyoke. And I give what I can to a place that needs it more.